Hello students welcome to i exam b in this series we are discussing past year based questions for rbi grade b depr 2022 this video is part 7 of the discussion till now we have discussed 30 past year based questions in this video we are going to discuss more past year based questions from macroeconomics we have already discussed the pattern and question topics from past year papers based on that let's see question number 31st so in this question we have to find the value of expenditure multiplier when we are given the marginal propensity to save so here mps is given to us 0.2 and we have to find the multiplier value of multiplier so how we do it the formula to calculate multiplier is multiplier is equals to 1 upon 1 minus mpc and 1 minus mpc is equals to mps marginal propensity to consume and marginal propensity to save both is equals to 1 so here if we see if we put the value of marginal propensity to save here in this formula we can see that the value for our expenditure multiplier is 5 so a is the correct answer for this question question number 32 what happens when there is change in propensity to consume so now we have to tell if there is change in propensity to consume what will happen to is and lm curve lm curve shifts for two, two reasons if there is change in money demand or there is change in money supply and is curve shifts whenever there is change occur in consumption investment government expenditure tax or net exports and import if the propensity to consume if the propensity to consume is increasing what will happen it will lead to increase in aggregate demand right if aggregate demand is increasing and shifting towards right what will happen there will be a increase in the level of income at each interest rate which will lead to shift in the is curve towards the right direction so the answer for this question is d the is curve will shift to right this type of questions are very important Uh, and have been frequently asked in the past year you have to remember what will happen to is and lm curve when there is change in government expenditure when there is change in taxes when there is change in money supply and money demand so these are some important questions that have been frequently asked and shift in is lm curve is very very important and these types of questions are important for conceptual questions are important for one marks the golden rule for capital in solo growth model is level of steady state capital per worker where output per worker is maximized consumption per worker is maximized or the economy has the optimal saving at s gold so we have to find out which of these three statements are correct the these types of questions are important for one marks and this type of question this question was asked in year 2019 and there was a question related to lewis model 2 so these conceptual model conceptual questions from model have been asked in 2019 it has been been asked in the past year for 2018 but yes they are asked so prepare for the at least for the important models like you have to prepare for herodomer model Keldor model. You have to prepare the stages of Rostow, Lewis model, Fierenis model. At least you should know the solo model. These models are quite important, and you should know the basic concept and what are the variables and what are the important assumptions. let's see the answer for this question the answer for this question is statement 2 and statement 3 are correct so 
here the consumption per worker is maximized and the economy has optimal saving rate at as gold so as gold is the optimal saving rate in the solo growth model question number 34 calculate disposable income if consumption is 200 investment is 50 government purchase is 70 government transfer payment are 150 taxes are 75 and exports are 10 and imports are 5 so let's see how to calculate this question so how you calculate income it is consumption plus investment plus government expenditure net export so in this way you can find your income so we are given 200 plus 50 plus 5 plus it is 70 so it will become 325 now we have to cal see how what is disposable income how you calculate the disposable income it is 325 minus you have to deduct taxes from it and you have to add the transfer payments in it so so answer for this question is d 400 this is a very simple and important question it can come in two marks and more questions from these concept have been asked in the past year and basically if they include more variables it will be of more marks question number 35 an economy is characterized by the production function y is equals to a k raised to the power 0 0.5 L raised to the power 0.75 and here A is total factor productivity, K is capital and L is labor. So now what we are given, we are given the growth rate in the labor, we are given growth rate in the capital and we are given growth rate in the output, Y is output and now we have to find the growth rate in the total factor productivity. How we should calculate it? The growth rate in output is given to us and the growth rate in output is equals to growth rate in total factor productivity plus 0.25 growth rate of capital because the, uh, k, k is raised to the power of 0 0.25 plus 0 0.75 growth rate in labor so here growth rate in output is given to us it is 4 and we have to find the growth rate for total factor productivity and 0 0.25 into growth rate in capital is 4 again and it is growth rate in labor is 1. So once you solve it, you will find the growth rate in factor productivity is 2.25%. So right answer for this question is 2.25%. This type of question is important for two marks. We will discuss more questions in the coming video and prepare well for your exams. If you haven't subscribed the channel, subscribe it and press the bell icon for future notification. Thank you. All the best for your exams.